reason I get in so much top tier sailing is because of how I set my life up. Tuesday, March 1st, about 9.30 in the morning. Beautiful morning. You can see a little smog out there that usually means there's a little bit of uh, east wind. So over towards the Santa Monica area, it's gonna be kind of a north northeast wind, just probably why we see that smog. Over here at the island, we're expecting to see a little bit more of a northwest winds up to about 10 knots. Now, you in the winter time, when you pay for two days in mooring, you can stay here up to five days. We stayed two nights, but we decided we're gonna go ahead and bug out today with the mission of just uh, doing some sailing. So the winds will be light, you know, it'll probably be 10 knots or less. Um, I'm not sure where we're gonna go yet. We haven't decided what our destination's gonna be. So Patrick and Lisa are somewhere over here, over here somewhere, there's uh, showers. Uh, I think it's actually maybe right right behind us there. You can uh, spend a few bucks and, and get uh, hot showers aboard. I did the cold, um, hot, hot showers on land. I did the cold shower uh, here on the boat and uh, it was pretty refreshing, but I, I would have liked, uh, hot water would have been pretty good luxury. I'd say kick off. I'm gonna guess around 11 or so. But uh, at least it's a beautiful day out and there is enough of a breeze that we should get in some nice, uh, pretty chill sailing in today. It's about 11 a.m. on Tuesday. Leaving Avalon, all kinds of traffic. Beautiful day, we actually have a nice breeze. Looks like there's a, uh, I don't know how long this is gonna last. Looks like there's a bit of south in this breeze here. I mean, of course we're kind of motoring into it. We're gonna do some sailing today. Patrick is wrapping up the lazy cradle. You can't have anything following the sail. Like my body. We're cruising along right now with the main up. We'll be putting some head sails up. Just one. Doing uh, just a hair under three knots. I mean, whether if I need to go up or not, I can't see it. Yeah, uh, go ahead and turn up 20 degrees. Up more, hard. That's good. Nicely done. Valentine's Day. Bummer. My guess is those balloons lasted longer than the relationship. So just have this rebuilt, this uh, hydraulic backstay adjuster, and there's all kinds of oil leaking on it. So I'm a little depressed about that. Dolphins cruising by. So it's almost 2.30. I took a little bit of a nap. Patrick's been sailing us, but we've got no wind. You look at how flat it is here. So we're thinking about hit, sailing over to Emerald Bay, but you can see Avalon right there. And uh, White Cove in there. So we got a long way to go. Probably about 11 miles, 10 miles. Expecting uh, 10 knots to be coming in from the northwest. And that's not what we're seeing. Twenty till three, and we've thrown in the towel. No wind. Patrick uh, gave it a hell of an effort trying to find wind and it's been been a few hours now and we, we aren't even the white cove yet so we're gonna go ahead and motor a little bit charge the batteries and see if we get a little bit of wind on the other side of uh, long point here 
I mean, usually by this time, getting close to 3 p.m., where you've got afternoon breeze, and we should be getting about 10 knots from northwest, and we're just not seeing it locally. here at Emerald Bay. I realized that mooring came right up to the rock like that. We were pretty secure and actually it's pretty calm here. Last night didn't roll around too much. Tobo just switched sides so it looks like he's doing a I'm just guessing here it looks like he's doing a hip tie and then uh, looks like that's a propane truck maybe on that barge I don't know what's going on here but dozens of these flies just everywhere this morning it's the first time I've ever seen this hopefully as the Sun comes up these suckers get out of here There's the barge pulling right up. And they've got the ramp already partially lowered. So they came right into Emerald Bay there. A little fog bank out there towards LA. Other than that, pretty clear, pretty good visibility. So in this anchorage, uh, at least right now, we got a current heading kind of west on the island. You can kind of see how fast it's flowing here. Hey, 
815 departure. Sea lions are waving us off. So it's about 20 till 10 a.m. on Wednesday. The fog's pretty much lifted, which I expected. And you can see the little remnants. But we've got pretty good visibility. And we have about 12.4 uh, miles toward Angel's Gate. Starting to see a little bit of air movement, but not enough to sail. There's, there's not much going on there. So we're going to just do the slow roll in. Show you what DEFCON 1 looks like. War against the flies. Fly swatters, flies everywhere. This is all mostly carnage down here. So we literally did not change course at all for this balloon. Hopefully another failed relationship. Nice work. Oh, horrible. Oh my God. That was a straight line, no course change in 5.2 knot pickup. You almost nailed it. What happened? make excuses because this sort of thing should never happen when you're professional you're a professional but i do have to say that coming in hot like that is not easy ladies and gentlemen that is not an easy pickup i had a little bit of slide happen on the balloon side it was a little bit more inflated than i thought and it was as a result i wasn't able to uh have the uh pump in as i was hoping for but we got it on the background now you know I, what we gotta do here. I think that counts as a reception and a fumble, not an incomplete. Ah, well, that's at least a positive. Let's see if we can recover the fumble. Ah, we got All right. the ball. Nice work. About five minutes till noon. So pretty chill out. We're just coming up on Angel's Gate. Patrick is re-splicing the topping lift, which the rigger did not do well. So uh, Patrick wanted nothing to do with this BS splice this guy did, and it needed to be shortened. Uh, did you see the fluke? If you saw the fluke, it'll probably uh, yeah, it's a, it's it a, dove down if it. Yeah, I know. I saw the flu. And you weren't shitting. It'll be, it'll be over here at this point. Because it dove down underneath us. So it might pop up. If it does, it'll pop up past that lighthouse. 